The show fires forcing 11,000 people to evacuate in the San Diego area. Let's go to Paul Verkamen. He's in the area in Carlsbad. Paul, what are you seeing out there? Well, Jake, as you can see right now, flame, an active flank of flame on the southern edge of this fire. And you can also see there's a fire captain using a road flare to set a backfire to cut off its advance. We're right here, as I said, on the southern flank. We know of one house that's been burned so far here in San Diego County. And if we can go ahead and pan around just to the right here, you will see what we call a California conservation crew, an inmate crew, actively digging out fire lines here to protect the neighborhood that is just off to the north. And again, another wall of flame coming up right here. Go ahead and stike, turn right here, if you could, please, at 12 o'clock. And this is where they're making a stand. Uh, this is a Fairly new community, a lot of houses with red tile roofs and stucco. That's a good sign for them because when the fire can spread through burning embers, you have a whole lot less to catch. So right now, it is indeed a ground fight. And if you'll stay with me for a second, Captain Miller, quick question. Talk to us right now about what your strategy is and how many flanks is this fire actively burning on? Right now, we're trying to put in a fire break between what's actively burning and what's not burning to stop the fire from advancing towards the houses. And I realize it's difficult when you're on the inside looking out, but do you know how many homes we've lost? I have no idea. Right now, this fire's got down into the drainages, according to the air attack over the fire, and it's running. We have erratic winds. We have low humidity down into the single digits, and uh, we're being handed a severe uh, uh, bad hand right now in fighting this fire. Well, that bad hand, of course, is the wind and the heat and the dry, dry, dry conditions. We've been in drought so long. Have you ever seen anything like this in terms of the level of dryness in the brush? No, right now what we're experiencing is volatile conditions, low humidity, high temperatures, and uh, it, this is extreme. This has gone from, from uh, just dry conditions to volatile conditions with severe spotting. And for any Californian, pretty shocking that this is happening right now in May. 
Oh, yeah, this isn't something we normally see until uh, long about October, November, when we have uh, the lowest humidity of the year. This is, uh, this is unheard of, this close to the ocean. All right, I appreciate you taking time out. Well, as you heard right now, just unusual conditions. And go ahead and show to the right there more of that very active effort to just dig fire lines and seal this off. I'll let you know that there is a street behind us, so that's good news. Asphalt, of course, a natural defense against fire. But, Jake, they're in for it today. And that we know of, this is one of just four fires, perhaps the worst. It's hard to quantify, but four fires burning in San Diego County right now. Reporting from Carlsbad, back to you, Jake. Thanks, Paul Verkam, and stay safe. Uh, just a recap when uh, Paul was telling us, uh, about 11,000 people in the San Diego area have, have been evacuated because of these fires in San Diego. We have about 350 firefighters on the scene. Uh, the conditions, the weather conditions, low humidity, uh, dry conditions, more than 100 degree temperatures in some parts of the San Diego County, uh, obviously making this a very difficult uh, fire for these firefighters uh, to fight. Paul Verkamen will stay with you uh, throughout the hour. Thank you so much.